Good day, collective. I'm here with a general healing and ascension message. Remember to only take what resonates and leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box. Universe, what planets and signs are involved in this message? This could be your sign. This could be the sign of somebody that you're connected to and or dealing with. card out is Taurus. Second card out is Scorpio. The next card out is Saturn. Next card out is Mercury. There's high vibrational Taurus and then also low vibrational Taurus. So just remember to take only what resonates with the messages for you. And most importantly, use the message for your ascension and your growth and healing. And we have Uranus. Taurus. This is North Node and Taurus energy collective. Please use your better judgment. Listen to your intuition. We have the Scorpio energy. Saturn. Mercury. And Uranus. There's a Pisces. It's an Aquarius, excuse me. There's an Aquarius. A Leo. A Capricorn. All under judgment right now. God is having his way with these individuals and they're experiencing endings and rebirths and transformations. And it's communication going out about that. Someone that was considered a wealthy man, his reputation has changed. His reputation is officially over. It is due to spell work. This masculine energy used spell work to gain housing. So he could be losing that. Yeah, it's going to be changes. What's the Taurus energy? What does the collective need to know about this Taurus energy? Please operate out of your North Node collective. Main female in distant horizons. And it flew and knocked out one of my candles. So let me relight one of my candles. Lights are out for a karmic female Taurus in the near future. Judgment has been called. This person can no longer lie or steal.
if this female Taurus has roommates or lives with someone, whoever lives in that house with them, it could be their parents or an older couple, they're going to receive judgment with her because she's there and they're going to lose their finances. This karmic Taurus did not try to heal their mother issues and just let it get worse and worse. What's the Scorpio energy? What does the collective need to know about Scorpio? This Scorpio energy house there could be a Scorpio. They're having changes in their physical body. They're trying to use elemental healing and it's not working. This Scorpio is not the same Scorpio that I've been talking about. This is a different Scorpio. This could be a high vibrational Scorpio that's currently working on their housing and soon will be uh, communicating with their divine feminine. What's this Saturn energy? What does the collective need to know about Saturn? official person y'all have to understand that Saturn is in charge high honor someone was concerned about a situation involving divine feminine a single mature woman and the police they were trying to cause suffering for this divine feminine and the divine feminine is an official person and saturn which is karma operates through this divine feminine there's a divine feminine that's an official person and is walking karma and a community is now realizing that a taurus could allot to a scorpio for housing What's the Mercury? A Gemini, a Virgo, and a Cancer are communicating. They realize that they are in poverty and it's not because they're not a twin flame, but They went the wrong way. They were concerned about using spirituality as a whole. In the wrong way to cause poverty to people that they looked at as high honor. A Capricorn is communicating to somebody telling them they fucked up. My heart just started beating really fast. What's the Uranus energy? What's the Uranus energy? The Uranus energy. Unexpected changes. False person in despair. People's masks are being taken off as usual. And Uranus is good for that. It's go definitely rearrange some things. So that's what's going on. Judgment.
a Capricorn and or Scorpio was like trying to change each other's journey or some shit like that and it didn't work because that's not <laughs> Saturn said no that's the we don't want that person in that position we gave the position to who we wanted to give it to Magician and Eight of Pentacles. Saturn said, I regulate and control who's master magicians. I regulate and control whose spell work works and whose spell work doesn't work. Saturn says, I control whose spiritual job is to read tarot not mercury not uranus so for those that have been calling on mercury and uranus for whatever reason it's about to be some losses and a need for you to grieve It's drama and conflict about tarot. But there is some evidence, some very, very important evidence that's about to come out involving a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy with the Knight of Cups. This person is not young, they just immature. This person wanted to be in a marriage stable foundation with a partner that they seen as smart. But they had jealousy problems involving an Aquarius and a Libra and decided to use some magic and a Pisces. Clarify this Taurus Distant Horizons energy. And I give this message with love. What's the Taurus distant horizons? This is North Node energy. Judgment. This is North Node and Taurus. So even if it's, no, it's definitely a low vibrational Taurus female, either watching or that y'all are connected to, maybe through housing or um, work. Nevertheless, it's judgment. Taurus, Distant Horizons, Judgment. If you don't know by now, Judgment is definitely here already. Don't be in a people-pleasing energy. Okay? Don't worry about what other people think of you. This main female... The karmic Taurus feminine, it's a karmic Taurus female that wants to be put on a pedestal. And they made a plan to how they were going to do that. This Taurus had a whole plan on how they were going to be put up on a pedestal. And now they're losing everything. Nothing is coming in for them. Three of Wands in reverse. Everything is being delayed. Will of Fortune in reverse. All they can expect to come in is bad luck because they were part of an illusion, caused an illusion, made people think they had options, but they, they don't. This Taurus could actually try to read Tarot or either it's just some evidence against this Taurus when it comes to a situation involving a Scorpio or the death of somebody. Clarify Scorpio and house. Clarify Scorpio and house. What is the collective? Thank you. The Queen of Cups. If you have emotional damage from your mother, you have depression, 
you use drugs and alcohol and sex to deal with that depression, please think about what that's doing to your physical vessel. You have to wrap up that cycle of childhood trauma collective, especially a Virgo female. A Taurus did some type of work with a Virgo female for a large amount of money. It was spell work involved. It could have been spell work being done on the Divine Feminine, Queen of Cups, or either a Pisces participated with a coven group of people to do spell work for a large amount of money. What they didn't know was doing that spell work, Saturn was going to bring that to the police's attention. There's a Pisces that feels left out in the cold. One of their relatives has money and they're like, why don't you help me? But the relative that has money, they a player, but they are not about to get played. They're using their intuition and they already know the moment they give that person some money, something's gonna happen. So they're not. They're saying no. They've been paying attention, watching several readings as well. Finding out about spell work that was being done, sympathy spells, and that type of stuff. God has been revealing to whoever the family member is. Truth and clarity. You give this person money, I'm going to be on your ass. You're going to get wrapped up in this situation. Involving official people. So this person made the choice not to help. Saturn, an official person. There's also a king of wands and a queen of swords in a relationship right now. And as you know, air and fire only makes more fire depending on how big it is <sighs> somebody it's a situation involving a car a situation involving a car being set on fire is under investigation was Saturn an official person what does the collective need to know about Saturn, an official person? We have the Knight of Swords. Quick communication. Saturn is giving messages to divine people and also to specific individuals. King of Swords. About this situation with a Pisces, Scorpio. In Taurus in their living situation this house there's a cult that hasn't been paying attention that their operation has been put to rest it was put to rest a long time ago they were stuck in hangman and didn't know they were stuck in Hangman and moving in Knight of Wands energy, messy as fuck. And their foundation had already crumbled a long time ago. They just not realizing that. What's Mercury? Journey in reverse. Mercury, journey in reverse. Yeah, all that work, all the investments, time, energy that they put in to try to keep what they were doing on this journey in secret, it's not. Hangman in reverse, it's not. Somebody's mother could be an Aquarius or the mother of an Aquarius. They pissed off because they penny pension. Nobody will collaborate with them. They can't get help from anybody because they know that 
that mother figure was part of spell work being done possibly on their son on an ex-husband or child's father if not all of the above exposure a mother used spell work on their child to delay to delay them and have them confused it's evidence of, it's evidence for that as well what's mercury and poverty high priestess and ten of pentacles in reverse once again this is tarot is not a competition never was never will be those that have been calling on mercury's energy for whatever fucking reason their ancestors are leaving them they're not going to have any type of wealth somebody's in an illusion that as a high priestess they'll never be in poverty if you're a queen of pentacles in reverse and you just doing things for money and power and for people to like look at you a certain way that's not really you with the falseness you can't do that anymore there's a legal authoritative figure that's very irritated and agitated right now because they overindulged with the tarot card reader or either they overindulged yeah they overindulged with the feminine energy that was the Empress in reverse. So now this authoritative figure is also penny pension and trying to hold on. Use your intuition collective. It's not about who's cursed and who's not. Look at the, the confidence of people, okay? Look at the confidence of people. Are they really nine of pentacles or are they in nine of pentacles in reverse? It's some people that know they have the death energy on them. And they're trying to appear confident. It's men and women. They're trying to text and email and communicate like everything is all good. But it's not. That Capricorn energy is communicating with people. That they're about to try to go on the run. And end end their Saturn return in a different location and so that's causing more drama and conflict he doesn't want to be around them he feel like okay I'm a liar but y'all more y'all bigger worse fucking liars than me and I shit what two liars where you go where you go get where, where you go get you got 12 liars all together what the fuck can you get out of that ten of swords that's it betrayal harsh painful endings and somebody going to jail for money laundering and theft and scheming as well possibly with this house situation yep somebody's also getting communication about evading child support and they about to go to jail What's the Mercury in high honor? What's the Mercury in high honor? Thank you. Ace of Wands in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. It's communication at that spell work, the sex rituals, the sex magic, just the um, amount of effort that was invested to get people of high honor off of their path and delay them was a very bad choice to make karmics are now crying over spilled milk somebody saying they thought that they could change the outcome somebody saying i didn't know that was considered fraud the truth is not only did they know it's just because they've gotten caught Somebody wants to try to blame their mental health. I grew up poor. That that shit, that's not going to matter. People are about to be in towers by themselves. 
divine high honor people who had these blockages losing motivation to keep being inspired to make plans for the future it's consequences for those that used spell work and magic to do that I would advise you all collective, my high vibrational collective, let the foundation crumble wherever you are because you know it's to be for your highest and greatest good. For karmic individuals, these towers are about to leave them isolated and being in jail or a mental hospital or rehab, they gonna have to suffer the consequences for all that manipulation and word witchery. They go hear their own lies repeating in their head. Every lie from the past is coming up in these people's face. And let's get to Uranus. Despair. Uranus, despair. What does the collective need to know about Uranus and despair? Uranus in despair. Yeah, we have the hangman. As you are going through changes, collective, make sure you're taking time to breathe. Know it's karma. Focus on your financial responsibilities. And the universe will provide you with resources, spiritual resources, very fast for you to have victory and success for those that are having a rebirth, becoming divine from karmic. Some karmics are going to work for the light side. Karmics that are completely taken over are the ones that's going to be going to jail, rehab, mental hospitals, and passing away. Whenever you are feeling down and depressed, that's when you know, okay, I'm in a hangman. Let me pay attention to my dreams. Let me go take some quiet time to myself to feel the emotions that I'm feeling mentally, get to the root of it, and heal through that. That's how you get to calmer waters. That's how you know you're leveling up spiritually and ascending. There's a uh, Pisces lying about the death of somebody and about a Scorpio. There's a Pisces lying about having part and paying and trying to do mental health magic and mind control on individuals. An Aquarius and a Libra knows. This high priestess wants to try to communicate to move and travel so they don't get caught up. You cannot run from karma. You're going to reap what the fuck you've sown. And it's Pisces season. Come on now. Any illusions caused in court situations, Saturn is wrapping it up. Hierophant. What's this false person? Uranus and false person. What does the collective need to know about Uranus and false person? We got the Queen of Wands in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse. Aries, Sagittarius, watching this because you know you're stuck. The mask has been taken off. The mask has been taken off the karmic cancer. And the mask has been taken off of y'all as well. I remember saying it was going to be a female Sagittarius that's not going to know what the fuck is going on. She still don't. At all. What's the false person? Uranus and false person. Some people are stuck and that's leaving them in despair. They want to lie. But they can't. Then I just say they stuck. 
No love. No new beginnings. No new opportunities. They poured that shit out when they was being two-faced and fake and lying. Karmics are already in spiritual jail. Because of that magic. Word, witchery, and manipulation. And it's really, really bad for those that did magic on the justice system. Saturn is wrapping that up. People in the justice system and city government workers that had magic being done on them. God has put empaths in their life randomly. It can be people at the grocery store. It can be people at the gas station. It can be people at their job. Empaths are being put in these people's life. Showing them what was showing them that work. Six people that y'all are connected to, six to twelve people collected that y'all are connected to are evil queens. And parts of them you see as a mirror of yourself, but you don't want the shit that they about to have to eat. Some of y'all gonna be able to fly away. Some of y'all gonna get caught up in that fire with them. Those that choose to heal and not care about how other karmics feel about them going to the light side. Those are the ones that are going to get good judgment and good karma in the near future. Universe. We're all just stardust. Go ahead and let them go. And make sure you slow down to celebrate yourself during your transformation and rebirth. Universe, we're all just stardust. What else does the collective need to know about believing in their own magic? What else does the collective need to know? Castle, this is a time for healing and not war. Other principalities and entities are getting that communication. This is not a time for war. This is a time for healing. Earth has to heal. Witches that have been promoting war spiritually for vanity, they about to turn to dust. Energy vampires, I would advise y'all to unplug and do some spells for healing. 333 with one on there. Yeah, y'all not going to be able to fly away from whatever you've done already in that, um, in that energy that you was in, being an energy vampire. So with y'all towers reaping what you sow, you need to be trying to heal and stand up for yourself. The people that you think go judge you, they're not spiritual judges, so it doesn't matter. What else for the collective? Believing in your own magic. What else does the collective need to know about believing in their own magic? What else does the collective need to know about believing in their own magic? And forgive, most importantly. Forgive this Pisces. Forgive that Gemini. Forgive that Scorpio. Forgive that Taurus. And make sure you forgive them for you. Forgive yourself for allowing people to be draining your energy. If you didn't know no better, that's different. But some people knew better.
So at this time, collective, don't burn something down to the ground unless you have a plan to build something better in its place. But for some people, that's too late. They got angry, pointed fingers, called for war, and war is what they got. So now it's time for healing and reparations. What's your plan? You need to take the same initiative and determination you had when this started and figure it out and never neglect your intuition. When we're children, we can barely comprehend the vastness of our own lives, let alone the existence of other planets. It's not long before we learn we are not the center of the universe. We are but specks of stardust in one of its many skies. However, we must all still do our part to take care of our own individual worlds or else it throws everything else off balance. Make sure to keep balancing your life, but don't forget the big picture stuff. Recycle, don't litter, and give thanks. You've been holding a grudge against somebody in your life. Maybe it's a loved one or maybe it's yourself. Forgive yourself on your own terms. The time is now to practice forgiveness, people, of other people and ourselves, okay? Don't make it feel like an obligation, but let it be the hope that gets you through those sleepless late nights. Somebody said, I don't like her. Okay. <laughs> it's time you take a step back and spend some quality time with your one true best friend, yourself. Look up some yoga videos on YouTube. Try a guided meditation. Read a book from a genre you usually don't read, which will probably any because people aren't really reading books anymore. I do, but you know. Take a morning stroll around your neighborhood and discover places you've never been before. When we take the time needed to recharge, we're paying the greatest respect to ourselves. So when those towers hit, don't get angry and make your situation worse. Don't be childish. Do not, I repeat, do not. Somebody that took their anger out on a child already. Somebody needs to go to the doctor. A child needs to go to the doctor. Or someone took a child to the doctor. Somebody did something to a child. And they're about to go to prison for doing so. Not for taking the baby to the doctor. But they did something to a child in the house. For money. What's this universe? What does the collective need to know with this universe? The universe is giving you this message. It's a karmic fire sign. Female. That's about to go to prison. This female could be 31 years old. Anywhere from 31 to 38. They owe people money for spell work. The people that they owe now look at this female as an enemy. I don't know why you would bring that shit over here. My haters too sick. I think they need a hospital. Sigh. What's this castle energy? What does the collective need to know about this? It's time for healing and not war. 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 My empresses. My empresses out here. If you see anybody around your house that ain't supposed to be there, call the police. They waiting. Get descriptions of vehicles. Everything. Protect your castle and whoever ain't supposed to be there, go end up in prison. Somebody already done got caught being a stalker and they going to prison. They sick about it with my lady and foe. You told me that 
such and such be at such and such. Yeah, no. Yeah, somebody was waiting for a phone call. A soldier for fuckery. You said they had a doctor's appointment. One no fucking doctor's appointment. What doctor's appointment? Not somebody in despair. Somebody is trying to learn somebody's schedule. Constantly. And that shit backfire in their face. And everybody looking at them like they're an, an enemy. Everybody sees this person or these people as enemies everywhere they go. An enemy of my enemy is, is they just enemies. What the collective needs to know about this tower? But there's no enemy without when there's not an enemy within. So just remember that part. What's the tower card? Unplug and relax for a spell. Yeah, somebody is looking at how they invested in their own, their own tower. Being a pleasure seeker. And then somebody is over here accepting their tower. That they done lost the lever. Somebody, <clears throat> that's sad. Somebody lost like their divinity. So somebody was of high honor. It was a twin flame energy. But somebody did not do what they were supposed to do. And heal. And now they're trying to figure out how they can get their way back. Because their world is upside down. They realized they were being a pleasure seeker. And now all they could think about is who used to be their twin flame. And they ask in the universe, can I have one more chance? Yeah, haughtiness. They see their divine feminine handling their business. Whoever they picked over uh, their divine feminine, they were happy and stuff at first, but then they done found out they then got some, some type of illness from this person, either mental or physical. What's the forgive energy? What's the forgive energy? Somebody baby mama is a fucking pleasure seeker and she cheating. She about to get caught. Yeah. Letter. Somebody go find some text messages that they baby mama is cheating. Faithfulness and sigh. It's the divine feminine out here like I was faithful to a fucking dog. Not a real dog, but if like a man, but he was a dog. And that leaves her in sorrow. But she got a divine masculine on the way. So divine feminine, don't be melancholy. Keep being a sweetheart, okay? And your enemies ain't got no choice but to leave you the fuck alone because they about to be in prison. Somebody was hoping a baby would change their situation, but it's coming out that this person had a baby for money. And now that joyfulness, it's going to be an ending with the death card. Somebody sits in their room all day or most of the day just thinking about money. But they constantly depressed, talking to one of their friends. One of their friends is married, but she trying to set up her husband to get murked. These people y'all connected to, look, a wife and friend, thief. Somebody is setting their husband up. And they talking to their friend about it. But look where that falseness is about to get them. They got that fire. I set fire to the rain. What's the forgive? What does the collective need to know about forgive? Felt that. Mm. Misfortune in reverse. Yeah, I told y'all collective. Forgive yourself and forgive others. And you won't 
you won't have misfortune. This wife gonna have misfortune though. Somebody's wife is about to get exposed and everybody's gonna see them as fake and as an enemy. They're not gonna show this person any love. She's gonna go to jail. She's in despair because people have seen what she did in the dream state. Advice for my divine collective universe. What's the advice? It's drama as I'm recording it. People reminiscing like on previous readings or just previous situations that they rushed to get into. Their intuition was telling them not to work with this person, not to talk to this person, don't get in a car with that person. And they still did, and now they up late at night because they realized they done fucked up being a pleasure seeker. So now they about to get their own letters about towers and housing situations and investigations and loss of money. It's Divine Collective, stay out this drama. You don't have anything in common with the karmics. Stay out the drama. Make the choice to keep loving yourself. And attracting harmonious relationships and partnerships. Go ahead and get a different perspective. We got Hangman out here twice. Get a different perspective about the communicate, the way you communicate, how you're using communication devices, and about the unexpected changes that you're going to have in your life. Now it's not the time to uh, clash with anybody with the North Node and Taurus. Now is the time for you to only be focusing on three of cups and a high vibrational strength and unity. This is a time for healing, not war. Scorpio and Pisces, this is a time for healing, not war. I don't give a fuck what y'all did to my baby daddies or ex husbands. I don't. That shit didn't. Eight of Swords in reverse. Magician in reverse. Why? Why would I feel stuck? about people that did not come out of me the fuck i've always been the gift okay i knew it already i've always been my own passionate motivated type of person that's why people like me i get with the hood shit when i need to get with the hood shit but i'm not out here doing witchcraft and shit because just because I'm a healer and I'm able to and I got the power of the cosmos in me. No. But I am a spiritual judge. I do know how to talk to people telepathically and get that communication going so they can get to where they need to go. And I give strength to those that are weak. So they can walk away and into their real wish fulfillment. So put that in your pipe and smoke at Knight of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles in reverse because you already out here. Knight of Swords with official person in Saturn. Ten of Pentacles with the Mercury and poverty. So to whoever the fuck this immature ass air sign is, it is what it is. Okay. All right, collective. That's my message for you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.